Sombrero, sombrero, compra mi sombrero. Sombrero, sombrero, compra, compra, compra. Compra sombrero, compra, compra, compra. Oh, sombrero, compra sombrero. Oh, here we have the silver sombrero. Here we have the multicolor straw sombrero. And here we have the red, green, and silver sombrero. All the way from Mexico, sombrero, sombrero. Compra sombrero, compra, compra, compra sombrero, compra, compra sombrero. wondered who is your ideal customer and what did they look like have you ever thought of where to find your ideal customer in this video i will show you how to determine who your ideal customer is and how to find them in order to know who your ideal customer is you have to go to the very beginning right Let's start at the very beginning. This is Business Media TV. My name is Mimi, the Business Advisor. On this channel, we advise business owners on how to start, grow, and, and sustain their businesses. We discuss loans, grants, and other creative ways that could help your business. We also discuss online marketing strategies to take your business to the next level. If you're new to this channel, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. In order to market properly, you need to define your ideal audience. Who do you serve? Notice that I did not say who are you selling to? Who do you serve? And who do you want to be? And for what target audience? Whatever your target audience is, there are tons of people out there in that target audience. So let's discuss the who how and what. The questions for your ideal customer. This is the same concept advertising companies use to sell their products to you every day on TV, print, and on social media. In this video, I will discuss five out of 13 questions to ask to help you figure out your ideal audience. Download the worksheet below to find out the remaining eight questions and really dive into this concept. The first question is, who is your target customer? This is a general idea of what your ideal customer looks like or what your ideal customer would look like. Is it a lawyer, a doctor, an engineer, a politician, a student? Who is your target customer? The second question you need to ask is, what do they really want? What drives your target market? Not what are you trying to sell to them, but what do they really, really want? You may think they want a complex electronic gadget that will do all kinds of things, but they may just want something really simple. The third question is, what are the characteristics of your target audience? What are the physical characteristics? They could, be, they could include things like, you know, is it a man or a woman? A boy or a girl? Is it a baby or a toddler? Is it a teenager, preteen, or young adult? You know, you need to defin define specifically what your target audience or your ideal customer looks like. Is this someone in their 40s? What age? What level of income is your target audience? Are they going to be educated people? Or, you know, is it a specific uh, ethnicity? If your target audience was standing right now in front of you, what does that target audience look like? If you think you're getting value from this, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. So as you begin to do, you know, go deeper, you begin to understand what the characteristics of your audience are. And as you begin to do this, you begin to fine tune your target market. Okay? So it's not just everybody in the world. You know, when you market, you have to market 
your product as if that particular person was standing in front of you. Like I said again, not the whole world, just one person. Number four, how big or small is your audience? This will help you get laser focused on exactly what to do with your budget in dollars. If it's a large audience, that means you have to spend more dollars to reach them. If it's a smaller audience, then you know that you know you don't have to spend too much you know, to acquire those those kind of customers. So that you know, so that way you can start thinking ahead and budgeting and planning for whatever method you may choose to reach that your particular audience. Number five. What does your ideal customer love or hate? For an example, if you're selling a keto diet, right? You know what your customer, you know, you, your customer probably, you know, loves having more energy. They want to be healthier. They want to look better. You know, they want to look sexy, right? They want to look muscular, right? And you probably, you know, and you know, they probably have a goal that, you know, they want to achieve. Like, okay, I want to lose 20 pounds by summer. Or I have a wedding, I need to lose 10 pounds. That is what your customer loves. They love to look pretty in that swimsuit and take pictures. You know, they love, they will have to look, then you have to look at what they hate. Most of them don't want to gain weight. Some of them want to lose weight. Some of them have lost weight. They don't want to regain that weight back. That's what they don't want. They don't want to look fat when they take pictures. You know, they don't want to look at that picture later and feel like, oh my gosh, I don't know what, I don't like what I look like in that picture. And maybe they don't even like exercising. They don't want to spend time at the gym. And, you know, sometimes it's because, honestly, that they are conscious of themselves. Most people don't want to go to the gym and see those big, bulky guys pumping up those big weights and they can even lift like five pounds so they don't want to be you know so they don't want they don't like exercising so they don't like going to the gym so as you begin to understand your customer what they like and what they don't like then you can begin to tailor yourself to serve that particular customer based on what their major issue is right now so we've covered five questions in this video download the worksheet for the remaining eight questions the good thing about the worksheet that you're going to download is it's prepared for you to fill out so you can just print it out and fill it out right I advice you know go away from where you normally sit down you know go somewhere far away or go, go somewhere different you know hang out there go to a quiet area Spend maybe one or two hours away from everybody else and seriously think about, you know, before you fill out this worksheet. So that way you can begin to understand what your ideal customer looks like and how to serve your customer because that's the main issue, the main thing, right? You have to serve your customer, okay? Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.